I've heard people say that this was one of the wonders on this planet many years ago. But today? For years, I heard about nature, but never witnessed it. It is so beautiful and peaceful.
Take out your mask. Take out your mask and breathe for real. good but it'll take time to adjust well can we move fast because if the sight us they'll hunt us down why are you helping me what instead of thanking me i mean you look like one of them then why are you helping me they think you're an alien or a spy i don't How did you come to that conclusion? Common sense. If you were an alien or a spy, you would have had a weapon and would have saved yourself. And do you think I would have saved you if you were an alien or a spy? Huh? You sound clever. That I am cleverer than you at least. But what are you doing here? That's a long story. But to keep it simple, for a better life. The grass is always greener on the other side. What do you mean? I was trying to escape from my own lands when I came across you. So true. Grass is always greener on the opposite side. You want to leave these beautiful lands for a so-called better life? The place where I come from? No water to drink, no food to eat. No, no air to breathe. and no other life apart from human beings we survive on oxygen masks and our food is man made capsules people die out of hunger for food and resource my clan spies on other habitable lands they invade it and erase all the traces of people who live there impressed to meet a true soul like you man told me that i belong to these lands and he helped me to reach out to this place how does he know about these lands i can't walk any more i think i need some time to adjust to this mask free land all right we can't stay here for long take a quick breath and we have to keep moving Tell me more about your land. How do you people survive? Well, how do I believe that you're not a spy?
Do I look like one? You know, centuries ago, Mother Earth was a beautiful place to live in. But our greedy and remiss ancestors never cared for a future generation and turned it into a grave. People started moving towards highlands and forests due to diminishing oxygen and increased sea levels. Even the oceans stopped producing oxygen. But this never changed them. They were still bad to the nature. Conditions worsened and only those survived who could adjust to it. Not sure how life still exists in this place, how these trees are surviving and I'm unsure for how long. I see food in the form of green but I can't eat them because they are the reason why we breathe. We worship them and we take care of them. Maybe that's the reason they're humble to us. The sun is too angry on us. Our food cycle is broken and tested. Rules have been imposed on men and women to stop giving birth due to lack of food. That's when a few brave hearts from my clan decided to go to other lands and send food for us. That. Are you the only soul who's searching for a better life? There are five more men coming in this direction. They will be coming here every alternate day. But why are you asking about all those people? He destroyed a lot of nature. Anyways, how much food is coming? Five more to hunt. Bring the food to the village. Considering the pace of human cruelty towards nature, days are not far from a world which needs no color, caste, region, religion and a man or a woman, but just survivors. Don't compel our next generation into cannibalism. Come, let's unite and patch up with nature.